Hey guys, welcome back. This coconut chicken curry has all the delicious flavors and creaminess of a coconut. It can be made in one pot under 30 minutes, making it the perfect midweek meal. Enjoy with a crisp paratha or a whole wheat bread to mop out all the saucy goodness. So let's get cooking. We start off with the miso plus and that is basically cutting up the vegetables for the dish and that's very important because that makes it a lot easier for you when you start cooking the dish. We slice up some garlic, one bulb of garlic, very finely sliced, some fresh green chilies, again very finely sliced. If you're not into chili, you can entirely skip adding chili if you want. Ginger, fresh ginger, finely sliced again. Again, uh, you don't want to chop the vegetables here, just want to slice them because you want that bite to come in the mouthfeel where you actually eat the dish. Red onions, finely sliced. I prefer to use red onions over white onion because they have less moisture in them and they also taste better. They're a little more pungent. Fresh tomatoes, firm tomatoes. This time they're going to be chopped. I prefer to chop my tomato than to slice them because I don't like the pieces of the skin coming in the mouth. So the tomatoes always need to be chopped. Chicken breast, cut them into almost 3 fourth inch cubes. So fresh chicken breast, just cube them up and keep them ready. You can use chicken thighs or chicken legs if you want. If you prefer to have your chicken on the bone, even that is perfectly acceptable. It is entirely what you like to eat and that's more important. Going on to the spices which form the soul or the character of the dish in a bowl. Add cumin powder, coriander powder, red chili powder, turmeric powder and ginger garlic paste. And there's a trick I do here, I add some water into it and I mix it all together to form a nice paste. So when you actually cook this with the spices into the hot pan or the oil, because of the moisture content, the spices don't burn. And this is the trick I always tell my uh, viewers to use because it makes it easy for them at home. To cook the dish is a one pot cooking process. Heat some oil in a pan and add black mustard seeds. As soon as the mustard seeds begin to pop and crackle to release the flavors, you add in the vegetables. So the sliced garlic, the ginger, the green chili, the red onions. All of these goes into the oil which is at medium heat. Uh, you don't want to have very high heat because they will tend to brown and discolor. You want your vegetables to just get lightly pink in color, lightly sweat them. And then add in the spice mix which was with ginger garlic paste and water. Uh, because you have a liquid in that, the temperature of the oil and the vegetables is reduced and your spices don't burn. So this trick is very important. Once the mixture dries out, add in fresh chopped tomatoes. Now, tomatoes have their own liquid content of moisture and they make the sauce or the mixture slightly moist and prevents it from burning. But they need to be cooked up till they become nice and soft and mushy. Add salt, salt again. Without salt, there is just no flavor to the food. Very important. In case your mixture dries out a bit too much, you can always add a little water to it and reconstitute the sauce. Once the masala is done, it goes in the diced chicken breast. And then you saute the chicken breast with the spices. And because the spices have the flavors and the colors, they also impart the colors to the chicken. So from being just light pink, they turn it into a very light golden yellow or a red kind of a shade spoon in a few tablespoons of tomato passata just to give it like a body mix it together and add coconut milk you can use a canned coconut milk or you can use a coconut milk powder even that works well but this gives it a very nice smooth luxurious mouth feel to the dish once you add the coconut milk the color will change and become nice and bright it also becomes liquidy at this stage bring the sauce to a boil reduce the heat and simmer till the chicken is done and the sauce thickens up. Such a simple dish. There are many ways to serve a coconut chicken curry. You can have it with rice if you want or with couscous. I prefer to have it with a whole wheat bread. These are whole wheat homemade parathas. You can use uh, just flat bread if you want. You can use a naan bread if you want. The choice is entirely yours. And to accompany that or rather to garnish it, let's add some coconut flakes of coriander spig and serve that with an onion salad and cream chilies. There you go. My simple coconut chicken curry. Delicious.